Hi everybody, welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, the YMCA is dedicated to improving overall wellness and they have created a free wellness challenge. Alyssa Wixo, she is the YMCA fitness director and she is joining us to share more about this. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I love this. Can you tell us a yeah. little bit about the YMCA's strong challenge? Yeah, so um, we've done this uh, in the fall mm -hmm. and as you know, many routines change, kids yes. are back to school and everything, everything changes kind of after the summer mm -hmm. so it's kind of our way of rededicating to um, routines those healthy habits yep. and things like that after summer is all over yeah and I mean everyone's so busy this time yeah. of year taking that time to focus on your own personal wellness is so important right? yeah we all set our New Year's resolutions yep. <laughs> and so this is kind of that revisiting those New Year's resolutions or if you didn't do that just trying to get back into some sort of routine yep. some sort of habit um, with probably a new routine with school and summer being over. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So what are you guys really hoping to achieve with this challenge? Yeah, so at the YMCA, one of our big um, pillars and core values is healthy living. Mm -hmm. So that honestly is very broad and it's very different for yeah. everybody. So that's kind of the, the basis of the strong challenge is we want to try to provide resources for mm -hmm. each person to recommit to whatever their goals are. Yeah. Um, because that does look so different for everybody. We just want to be a resource and a place to go um, to help get back in those habits. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what can participants really expect from the challenge? Yeah, so we try to kind of pick a different theme each week or mm -hmm. a different topic each week. So you can expect um, physical fitness included, mental wellness in there, um, eating, nutrition, all those sorts of things. So you'll get texts and emails throughout the challenge just to kind of um, keep it relevant, keep it up kind of front of mind throughout the whole six weeks. Yeah, absolutely. So who can participate in this? Um, the great part is anybody can participate. You don't have to be a YMCA member, mm -hmm. non-members can participate. So you can get family, friends, coworkers, anything like that yeah. to kind of jump on board with you. Um, and they don't even have to live in town either. So um, we do have options at the YMCA, but we also have virtual options available too. Okay, I love how you mentioned, you know, incorporating other people because mm -hmm. isn't it, you know, no or proven that when you work out with someone or hold someone accountable then you reach those goals yeah definitely we we see it all the time mm -hmm. that people who have like-minded people or that support system in there and we definitely will touch on that in the challenge of finding yeah. that support system um, whether they're at the gym with you or just helping in your home life with some of those support items um, it's important to have those people in your life yeah so. absolutely yeah. I love that this is all free as yeah. well you know yeah. people are kind of pinching pennies trying to budget and save why did you guys decide to make this free and a resource for everyone yeah well ymca is a nonprofit, and yeah. community needs is obviously a lot of what we do at the y so um we know healthy living and just trying to support the community in any way that we can um it, with trying to get back into that so whether that's at the ymca or if you're utilizing the virtual tools at home or mm. anywhere else, we just wanted to be at that support system. Yeah, definitely yeah. so important. So we've heard that the Schlossman Fitness Center has recently reopened yes. after a remodel. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, very exciting. Just this last week we reopened. Um, we were able to totally remodel our fitness center. So mm -hmm. we have um, new flooring, new equipment. Um, we have some turf space. It, it looks beautiful in there. So yeah. um, anybody who's been there, I encourage them to go back because <laughs> it feels totally different. Um, but it's also a great place to just help with a welcoming environment and kind of fits the needs for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. So if someone watching is interested in joining, how can they sign up for the challenge? Yeah, so you can visit any of our social media. Um, we have the links on there, but you can also go to ymcathenorthernsky.org mm -hmm. uh, slash strong and we have the registration link on there as well yeah and why would you really recommend folks to sign up for this honestly like we kind of talked about it's just getting back into the routine and mm -hmm. it's keeping that front of mind it's probably one of those things that everybody wants to do yes. but it's like putting that foot forward and actually committing to it and having that accountability um, is kind of taking that next step with the strong challenge yeah absolutely yeah. do you guys have any other programs or events you want to share real quick yeah we are just kicking off a new um, program session for mm -hmm. fall programs so that's youth programs we have adult programs a lot of group fitness activities and things like that so 
it's definitely a busy fall. We have everything from basketball leagues to um, STEM programs and everything in between. So lots of stuff going on this fall at the Y. Yes, we'll have to stay updated. Yes. Okay, where can we find more information? Uh, if you go to ymcanorthernsky.org, you can find all our information there. Well, wonderful. Thank yeah. you for joining us this Thank morning. You. Yeah, we'll see you next time. All right, everybody stick around because coming up on today's show, we have your daily dose of motivation.